Hey guys, it's Zupa. Um, I haven't posted in a long time, and I'm sorry about that being busy. Mm. Well, it's summer, but still being busy. So, well, I just want to do this tut. It was actually really cool. Um, I've known this for a while, and I just want to share it with you guys. Um, so basically, I'm going to teach you how to make something like this, okay? Okay, freaking windows. Okay, so... Basically, I got a couple. Here's a few. Let me do this one. So this comes up. You click it, right? And then I'll say this, this, and then haha, you screw. It. Okay, screw you people. And then you can, uh, in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to change the title, the icon, and the the text you put in there. Also, the button. So it can be abort, yes, no, confirm, all that. So we can keep going. Even if they press X you know still gonna keep on going see there's that and also I made this one like it'll say windows virus detected they'll say no yes they can't even exit out on that one windows safeguard whatever running system scan yes access denied started random typing troll right there okay and then more random typing and then it's just if see if they kind of know their code they'll be tricked I guess kind of by that if they're stupid enough and then there's that okay you want to send a, a report to Microsoft yes no either way it's just gonna you know that's gonna happen so now I'm going to teach you how to make one of those, and that's going to be pretty cool. So first, what you want to do, um, go to the description and get all of this. First, you just want to copy this, okay? Control C or right click it, press copy. Then open up a new um, page in Notepad. Just open up a blank Notepad. Then you want to paste it into there. Sorry about the text; it's messed up, but should say x equals message box kind of abbreviated um, parentheses bracket the text you want to put in for in the middle not the title but the actual message then there should be another um, not fail and then there should be a comma z uh, 0 plus 16 comma pop-up title parentheses now do this just highlight all this and type in whatever you want it to say suppose you want to say just test and then you want to change this to let's say I don't know subscribe to me okay so now once you've done that you want to click file save as and then you want to like save it on anywhere but just I'm going to do it on my desktop because I can find it easier and once I've done that the file name I'll just name it test you can name it whatever you want but make sure you add this at the end make sure it'll even say in the description make sure to put dot vbs then you want to click save and it should save okay now let's just test it out Okay, so there is the file we created, and then you want to double click it, test, and that's the default, and that's the default. So see, we put subscribe to me and test in there. Now I'm going to teach you how to change that, the icon, and the buttons. So okay, so now, if you go look in the description, I have um, the cop to copy paste this in, and then here is how to change the icon, that red X to whatever you want actually sorry no that's down here so 16 is the red critical icon and then 32 is the help one with like the question mark and then um, 48 is the warning is th I think that's the tri the yellow triangle with the exclamation mark and 64 is the information icon and uh, so you're gonna put suppose we're gonna do the warning icon so we get 48 we go back to the file we created, right click it and press edit. And now 
you go to 16 the right side of the after the plus that's where you change it for the icon let's change it to 48 let's click file and save and let's run it again see now it changed to that okay so now I'm going to teach you how to change the buttons as you can see there's 0 through 5 and you can change these to any of them you know there's ok just ok and then there's ok and cancel abort retry ignore yes no cancel yes no and then retry cancel let's just do 5 and you want to go in here and click edit again now with, you change the left side b uh, before the plus sign to that number you want I'll click file and save run it see now it's reach out and cancel so now you might be wondering how I did it on mine I'll just show you again how I did it so that it would open up uh, quite a few times if I can just find it oh there we go so I'll open it and there's that and then it comes up again as you can see And you might be wondering how I'm gonna do that well it's actually pretty simple all I gotta do is you go here highlight it again then press enter once so it goes to the next line and just make another line of it and put um, I don't know second or just put whatever you want really and then I guess I don't know put that that and I'll put this is the second line okay so now once you save that you can just go back test it out yourself okay subscribe okay now here's the second line see this is the second line we put in it's the same thing you can just edit what you want on the second line you can make you know paste it again you can just paste it so it would never go away till they you know finish that all the lines of uh, the command you put in so that's basically it and if you want more I have like a program opener type of thing I can teach you how to make this if you want you know you, you know just do this how many times you want it to open and uh, if you want me to teach you how to do that and stuff tell me I'll make another tutorial uh, it's pretty easy remember this is gonna be in the description this works on like all the windows I'll have to find out if it works on a Mac because I really haven't thought of that yet till now. But um, yeah, just you know, test it out yourself is actually pretty fun if you're gonna prank your friends. And to change, like, if you want to prank your friends, you could do this: rename it like my computer or like Modern Warfare 2. But you're gonna have to like make an icon for that for it because you're gonna have to find the icon for it unless you have an icon for windows you know to change it so I would just name it like his favorite folder or I don't know just, I don't know my computer save that and then you would right click it maybe go to properties and you would change it you would click change icon and look for the my computer icon and then yeah so then there's that and it's pretty easy pretty fun uh, yeah that's it really so yeah have fun subscribe like hope it helped bye